coming is that those who possess a bomb are not considered a threat, but those that don't have a bomb but may possibly have a bomb in the future are considered a major threat? Now, this is a paradox in and by itself. Nobody can accept this kind of logic that the international community cannot. And the international community is not summarized by the United States, by the United States, by being just the United States and its allies. There are a hundred over, you know, a hundred MPT or NG8 uh, member states as well as the OIC member states uh, who have supported Iran's position. Are they not members of the international community? You see, we oppose the spirit of the word that comes from American politicians thinking that they represent the world, that whatever they say is what the world thinks. This is not the case. You heard my speech today. Some of you people got up and left. Those who speak of themselves as representatives of the international community, they were a minority, an absolute minority, and they like to think of themselves as the international community. Now, if we want to fix the world, we have to act fairly. To be fair and just, those who have bombs have to put them aside. That's the end of the story. So you were saying that the test... So by alleging that Iran has some problems, you know, America's problems aren't resolved. Just alleging that Iran has problems is not going to resolve Ms. Clinton's problems for her. Uh, um.